isang malaking preparation din talaga na kailangan planchado lahat ng proud numbers, mga sayaw. Our anniversary is just for one Sunday, this Sunday lang. But it's a kickoff to several special celebrations that they, you'll know weekly. Every week, kasi February is Kapuso Month then, di ba? Mm -hmm. So aside from the anniversary on the 31st, yung Feb 7, may ilulaunch kami na bagong product ng GMA. You should watch out for that. And then on Feb 14, of course, it's the Valentine's Day. So... Exciting din yan, syempre, for, especially for the kind of show that we have, the musical and comedy. Ang sarap i-celebrate ng Valentine's Day. So, um, expect that the whole month of Feb will be ano, a series of celebration of different uh, occasions that we are all thankful for. And then even March, kasi syempre, summer na. So, yeah, yes. So, mm -hmm. hindi man umbrella month na anniversary, but it's, uh, it's a kapuso month. So every week, meron tayong uh, isa celebrate, all right? Well, there will still be no audience uh, for sure. It will be the artists and the staff. Uh, Miss Ruth, just chime in if uh, if I'm saying it right. Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, also, kahit na on stage, we are socially distanced. And the traffic is uh, uh, told to us as well. There are guards all over the place with flashlights blinding our eyes na parang to just move, move out of there <laughs> with signs. You should experience it, actually. And uh, we always maintain naman, uh, dapat the right legal number para we don't disobey any, any rules. And everyone who will go to the studio, ano, nag-swab test lahat. So, lahat negative, sure kami, na lahat po nang papasok sa studio ay nag-swab at negative po. And then even their dressing rooms, naka-assign yan, bawal tumawid-tawid sila sa dressing room. Two, maximum na yung three kung malaki yung room ng artist, may kanya-kanya silang area. So, in, even the companions are limited, wala nang mga personal stylist. So, talaga, uh, admirable nga yung cast kasi... Kaya ni independent sila, minsan sila na yung nag-makeup, dala nila yung gamit nila kasi under, naintindihan naman nila na hindi na pwedeng maraming tao kasi nga limited. So, believe ka sa mga artista ng AOS kasi kaya nila talaga. Sila nagbibihes, sila nag-aayos, tapos walang reklamo, walang, ano wala, sobrang bait nitong group na to. So, yun. So, in terms of safety, we follow pro protocols. Lahat kami nakaswab, we observe social distancing, and tama, may guards kami na nakalak, naglalakad na may mga cards na observe social distancing. Pag medyo nagdikit, andyan na yung guard, pag lalayuin kayo. Tapos, kanya-kanyang kain sa kanya-kanyang area, so wala talagang hindi na pwedeng magsabay-sabay. Yun naman, We're tr we try to be as safe as possible. Thank you. It's very explosive. Super, super wonderfully explosive because even the cast of our launching programs will be there. Nandun sila, maraming artisang na dadalo. Tapos sabi nga din ng mga nila Christian kanina, iba yung energy kasi syempre isang taon na kami hindi nag-live. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yung pinagdaanan namin na as soon as the lockdown was imposed, naka-online kami agad. Hindi kami tumigil, hindi kami nawala. Because we understand na um, kahit mahirap ang buhay, mahirap yung situation, we want to give entertainment to our viewers or to the netizens. Kahit hindi kami makaere, hindi kami mawawala at hindi kami nawala. So, mm -hmm. nag-adapt kami, nag-adapt kami dun sa online lang, nag-adapt kami, nag-broadcast kami ng naka-zoom, kahit mahirap. Natuto yung mga artista na mag-shoot ng mga sarili nila na naka-green screen. Sila lang yon ine-edit namin. So, kung maga nag-adapt kami. So, the fact that we're going live, all of us will be there again. Siyempre, following the headcount na sinet mm. ng IATF. Pero lahat kami nasa studio. So, you can just imagine. Ngayon palang nararamdaman mo na yung excitement. Tsaka energy ng cast. 
to finally be together again with the comedy team to perform again live. So exciting. And then I think Christian has something to add. Unmute. Okay, there. Um, also, uh, as we were discussing way back before, yung mga top secret and all those comedy segments, uh, way back, wala naman pong mga super lucky or number one or two Twitter trending to tell us even before mm-hmm. to take out that segment. Yeah. So why is it still here? Because it's working. Because a lot of people also like the comedy. We respect and we appreciate the co- opinions of some people who would prefer na, uh, you know, we go back to all musicals and uh, dances. That is perfectly uh, fine. Their opinions matter and we will uh, adjust accordingly. But there are also a lot of people who appreciate the comedy especially while they're eating on a Sunday afternoon or maybe they just went to Mass or they're uh, uh, appreciating each other's company. Some, some like to laugh. Some really like to laugh. A lot of people like to laugh as well. And also, if you think about it on a business or trabajo aspect, we're also giving the comedy team jobs. Exactly. Also. So parang do we tell the people na parang, no, this is only for singing and dancing only. We try to be inclusive as well. But still, we always do our best to, ano, you know, to provide the best entertainment. If we need to adjust a little bit, yeah, we'll do it. But all opinions matter. We listen. But uh, we listen also to those people who prefer that the comedy stays. Well, uh, to be able to perform, to be able to uh, connect to our audience, to be able to bring good entertainment, uh, to be able to, ako personally, to just sing, you know, uh, mm-hmm. sing on a stage. Uh, yun pa lang, it gives me so much joy. Tama si, you know, tama talaga si Kuya Ian sa lahat. <laughs> yeah, ito. <laughs> Hindi kasi uh, yung, yung, yung feeling lang na makapag-perform ka, eh, makita mo yung... Well noon kasi 'di ba naabutan pa namin may audience talaga kami hanggang sa sabi nga ni Miss Ruth nag-adapt kami hanggang sa ngayon nagulat na lang kami anniversary na uh, yung yung feeling na ang dami mong napapasaya through the show uh dami mong nakikitang supporters na uh, na-inspire sa sa show namin so yun siguro yun yung yun yung nakaka, nakaka proud to be part of All Out Sundays yung 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 accomplishment na nagagawa namin uh, through our Kapuso supporters, di ba? So, yun po. Ako kasi sobrang sarap, ah, sobrang gusto kong mag-perform eh. Lalo na on stage, live. May taon man, mas okay, live audience. Pero siguro mas masarap sa pakiramdam yung nag-perform ka all out na kasama dyan yung su- very supportive na staff and very supportive na co-artist. Sarap sa puso ng ganun. Na isa kayo naghilaan kayo pataas. Walang Lahat kayo nagpinapalakpan nag, after every performance. And... Ako, ano, um, I'm proud sa team ng AOS, sa production team, kasi uh, how how they are able to come up with ideas every week. Kasi hindi madaling mag-create, eh. hindi madaling magsulat, hindi madaling mag-conceptualize. Pero nakakatawa na bilang artist din, bilang performers, na nasusurprise din kami sa mga gagawin namin. Uh, at natutuwa rin ako na makita na yung mga peers ko, wow, peers, <laughs> ay nag- nag-e-evolve. Kung maga, every week, uh, nag improve uh, na- nasusurprise ka sa mga kaya pa, nila pa-, kaya pa nilang gawin. Um, so, para sa akin, naging playground namin tong, ano uh, All Out Sundays. Um, ayun, eh, enjoy namin siya. And at the same time, natututo rin kami. Uh, natututo kami ng mga iba't ibang kanta, whether Blackpink pa yan, or ano, uh, Taylor Swift, di ba? Parang na- na-explore namin yung mga iba't ibang genres na 
tumatawid kami sa sa comedy na para sa akin uh, nakakatuwa dahil nakakapagbigay kami ng ng good vibes sa mga tao. So very proud ako of our team kasi um, sa kabila ng ng lahat ng nangyari sa atin sa pandemic, 'di ba, sa pinagdaanan natin ay uh, nandito pa rin ang All Out Sundays para magpasaya. Um, gusto ko lang din pong bigyang diin yung sinabi ni Miguel na lahat po talaga kami dito ay naghihilaan pataas. Kung baga, there's no um, kompetensya sa loob ng All Out Sundays. Lahat kami, um, tinutulungan yung isa't isa, nagginaguide yung isa't isa, mabaguhan man, madatihan man, patikan man, or baguhan man. And yun po talaga yung isa sa mga kinapaproud ko, tawag po ba yun, kinapaproud ko bilang performer or bilang kapuso na rin. So, um, yeah, yun po yung bibigyan kong diin. <laughs> Ang hirap. Well, lahat na po kasi nila nasabi. At lahat naman po yun may katotohanan. I have two questions. Um, since binigay na ni Christian yung official hashtag for Sunday, um, question ko bukod sa ratings, why AOS number one? Hashtag AOS number one. Yeah. Thank you. Um, kumbaga, ito na po yung summary lahat ng sinagot ko kanina. Siguro isa-isayin ko lang ulit. Uh, first, siguro collaboration with the uh, broad kung ano gusto namin uh, i-explore sarili namin. Second, siguro parang training ground na rin namin yung stage ng AOS na kahit anong gusto namin gawin, anong gusto namin Uh, baguhin sarili namin, anong gusto namin idagdag is very free kaming gumalaw sa stage na yun. And third is uh, yung environment namin, very supportive para kaming magkakapatid na kung kailangan ng tulong ng isa, tutulong yung lahat. Kung kailangan ng kung ano man, andyan yung lahat para sa isa't isa. And fourth is all out kami kasi in-enjoy lang namin yung every performance namin. Yung bawat segundo, bawat minuto, bawat moment sa stage. Yeah, and um, from our title, All Out Sundays, ang All Out Sundays po kasi lahat po kami dito, um, all out sa lahat, all out kantahan, all out sayawan, all out performances, all out iyakan, lahat po ipinapakita namin dito sa All Out Sundays. At siguro yun din po yung dahilan kung bakit kami na-appreciate ng mga kapuso out there. And um, yes, this Sunday, meron po kami ang all-out surprises na ipapakita sa lahat. I think uh, when you're in the right perspective, kapag tama rin yung mindset mo, everything else will follow. So I think kaya rin kami uh, nare-reward na ng magandang ratings, ng uh, loyal viewers. Kasi um, from the very beginning, nasa tama po kaming mindset. So lahat kami nasa ano, same frequency, uh, nasa same goal kami. Um, ayun po, kaya ito po yung naging outcome. Nagda ko lang din po ulit. Siguro yung, siguro hindi kami magiging number one kundi dahil sa mga loyal na humahanga po sa, sa All Out Sundays. Kaya kundi dahil sa kanila, maraming salamat po one year kami. Kaya very excited po kami perform ulit sa inyo live on TV. Viewing the songs, uh, on Saturday we're gonna have a big rehearsal. Uh, this is going to be very exciting. Back to you. And uh, swab tests. Then uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, na- na- excited kasi for the longest time, um, wala naman kaming um, technical rehearsal na nangyayari. So, kaya kami nag-swab lahat ng mas maaga para sa Saturday. Uh, isang malaking preparation din talaga. Na kailangan planchado lahat ng prod numbers, mga sayaw, kahit yung mga songs. Uh, and you flow ng show para sa unang live namin kahit naman palagi namin ginagawa to bago nag, nag, nag holiday break di ba um, gusto namin yung kampante kami and swabi lahat uh, lalo na pagdating namin sa live this Sunday kailangan all out na all out well yung mga isa po sa mga natutunan ko ay yung namnamin yung bawat performances. And um, ano ba ang gusto kong i-unlearn, mga tutunan ko? Siguro yung pagiging, uh, well, 
Wala po akong gustong i-unlearn eh. Kung baga lahat okay. po nang binibigay sa akin ng All Out Sundays and syempre ng cast ay yung mga magpapaganda naman po sa craft ko and sa karera ko. So, wala naman po. Wala po akong maisip, pasensya. <laughs> okay. Si Miguel naman. Sa akin, uh, sir, um, siguro marami nang tutunan pero isa sa pinamagandang lesson na natutunan ko is yung uh, for you to be able na mabigay yung 100% mo, kailangan tama yung environment na ginagalawan mo. Kasi if nararamdaman mo na walang support yung taong mga nakapaligid sa'yo, parang ang hirap ibigay yung all out mo. Kaya very happy ako sa family namin sa All Out Sundays, hindi lang sa mga co-artists, kundi na rin sa production namin kasi parang pamilya yung turingan namin. So, very happy ako doon. And tama po kayo kasi para mag-grow ka bilang tao, you have to learn something new, you have to unlearn, and you have to relearn actually. So, ang gusto kong i-unlearn, siguro mga simpleng bagay lang, kunyari yung mga bad habits ko sa stage na pag pinapanood mo yung sarili mo sa stage, parang uh, hindi siya ganang kaganda. Kaya... Kumbaga, na, na, mapanorin mo sarili mo, panorin mo ng panorin hanggang sa mag-improve ka habang matanggal mo yung mga bad habits mo na and never be content sa performance mo. Gusto mo, dapat lagi ka pa rin 101, 102% pataas ang pataas mo. Yan. 